This is where Silent Hill 2 was created, here in Tokyo, somewhere on the 42nd floor of these buildings. Counting the graphics designers, programmers and musicians, over 50 people worked for nearly two years on this project. But Silent Hill 2 would not have come to light without these three. Imamura, the producer. Sato, in charge of designing the characters and cinematic visuals. And Yamaoka, who created the sound and music. All three are very ingenious, but they say it's like being married, because they all work together on the first Silent Hill. But for Silent Hill 2, they've gone much further, because Silent Hill 2 is a lot more than just a horror game, more a terrible love story. Anyway, what do you mean anyway? You don't sound very happy to see Every me. detail of the game is conceived to shake you up mentally <gasps> and emotionally. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. This is the artistry of these alchemists of the emotions. Backgrounds in Silent Hill are based on a concept of simultaneous repulsion and attraction. That's one way to define their impact. Strangely enough, they look nasty and disgust us, but also they have their own kind of charm, which is just the effect that the art director was trying to achieve, of course. Before creating the images for these grim visual backgrounds, Tsuboyama went to shoot a few stills. It may sound odd, but these stills are perhaps the most important images of all. The bathroom was the very first room modeled by the art director. This was the first image created for the visual background. In a way, it served as the graphics bible for creating the other visual backgrounds. It's no accident if the players start the game indoors. Mary, could you really be in this town? A different rationale applied to the exterior visual backgrounds. The idea was to give the impression that the city is larger than you'd imagined. Certain sequences that might seem overlong were inserted deliberately to convey a feeling of isolation. ま、
ゲーム的にはかなり危険で挑戦してみた部分ではあるんですけどあのわざとあれだけの距離を。In addition, they used a grainy filter to dirty the images while giving them character. Here's what Silent Hill 2 would have looked like if its creators had not used this ingenious process. Always trying to take us by surprise, the graphics designers had fun planting a few disturbing elements throughout the game that go unnoticed at first. For instance, there's that body in front of the television. You don't realize it, but you know that face. James なんですよ、あそこは。あの死体は実は James が作り出した James。なんで逆に見,見せちゃいけない。Another image from James's brain: that dress on the tailor's dummy holding the flashlight. You've seen that dress before. It's Mary's. All of these mysterious details come together to form a visual background ideal for conveying impressions of solitude, suggesting a parallel dimension, the perfect substrate for showcasing such elaborate and ambiguous characters. Of course, it's James, the hero of Silent Hill 2, but just like in the first Silent Hill, the main character does not have the key role. Mary? Maria is a fascinating woman who epitomizes the ambiguity of Silent Hill 2. I don't look like a、uh, ghost, do you? Disturbing and、uh, sometimes looks cute.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, there's no specific model of her. With her disturbing ambivalence, the Maria character has much more appeal than other heroines. Don't ever leave me alone! You're supposed to take care of me! <laughs> so, For example, the one of Final Fantasy, the movie.、Yeah. Sato explains why. She ran away. That the、uh, main girl character doesn't have a wrinkle and、uh, doesn't have a kind of a bad point. She, she is kind of perfect. For example, you know, if, you are,、uh, if you are attracted by、uh, some woman, you know, she's not perfect. You know,、uh, if you take Take her pictures, you know. Uh, uh, sometimes her face is like that. You know, it's not perfect, but、uh, you know, if always she's perfect, I guess、uh, you want love her. You, <coughs> you're in love with her because、uh, she's human. She has a、uh, you know,、uh, character. You know, that character has a you know, bad point. Of course, bad point. And,、uh, you know, good point. They didn't make that. But,、uh, you know, it's more real than the Silent Hill Second. You know, from a、uh, you know, visual or you know, technique point of view. But, you know, I think,、uh, you know, I made it more realistic.、Uh, Work. Do I look like your girlfriend?、No. So, Maria is a woman who has her weak points but takes full responsibility for them. She flaunts the tummy with a little roll of flab. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. Doesn't try to conceal the brown spots on her skin. Cheats with respect to some parts of the body. I think I, she, she, she is a brunette. She's not brown. She died, you know, red, and she died, you know, she breached. These details make her seem very real. A woman with appeal. Sato explains actually, Maria was sexier when we first started out, but her plunging neckline gave us too many technical problems, and we weren't happy with the way the graphics looked. A body like that isn't much without a lively, expressive face. So Sato threw himself into his work on this part of the animation. I tried to act sexy in front of a mirror and,、uh, you know, like、uh, just open, open half the eyes and uh, uh, move the, you know, underlip sexier like that, you know, in the 
office. That was perfect. <laughs> As a matter of fact, to obtain better results in face animation, Sato did not resort to motion capture. I couldn't trust the you know, face motion capture. That motion capture system uh, is, took just the you know, uh, position of the skin. If you open the mouth, uh, and, you know, muscles around here is tighten. But a motion capture cannot, cannot capture it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, if I, I make them in front of a mirror, I can notice it. I can capture it. You know, that's most of, uh, you know, the biggest reason. By doing the animation by hand, you can combine dozens of expressions and come up with just the right one, even the most absurd. On the other hand, Motion capture was used for the body sequences. In other words, these motions were carefully thought out, or rather, carefully observed. The actress playing Maria struck poses that would turn the head of any red-blooded male player. The animators simply had to transpose these sexy poses. With the finishing touch, all they needed was a voice that would bring the face to life. Between 50 and 60 people from Japan and the United States were auditioned, and only five of them were hired. By the way, the same persons who made the motion capture. What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Killing a person named. You must be thinking five. Hmm, that's funny. There are six characters. That's easy to explain. The same person played Maria and Mary. Once again, it's no accident. Same uh, polygon structure, polygon structure of a face. Exactly same. You know, a little bit uh, skull shape is different. And uh, Maria can make uh, Mary's face. Mary can make Maria's face. But the uh, gimmick of the face, like a skeleton and uh, you know, muscle structure, is a little bit different. Now, unlike James, Angela is really bizarre. In the game, she's supposed to be 16 or 17. But she doesn't look like a teenager. It's not, you know, usual teenagers. One has a something, I think. And I try to, uh, you know, uh, I try to make her make her face special. Has something inside. Then, uh, you know, that's why I made, uh, you know, uh, these lines, you know, these shadows. You know, she has a kind of a short nigger mouth, and uh, try to uh, make her face emotion, face animation, a uh, little bit uh, uncomfortable. Lost? That makes her look more older. The design team aimed to make Angela look older and opted for an older voice. The actress playing Angela is about 40. Last but not least, there's Eddie. Excuse me. His creation was kind of funny. Who, for your information, doesn't know about it. Fortunately, he only borrowed his friend's physical characteristics because Eddie is maybe the most deranged of all. He appears heavy and clumsy due to a number of subtle details. You 
You killed him? His uh, pupil? A little bit wider. Opened a little bit wider from another character's. His eye direction is a uh, oh, another direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know his eyes uh, move a little fast compared to another characters. You know, yeah, I did that on purpose. Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie. An in-depth study of human emotions, passionate attention to detail, and perfect casting. There lies the secret of the characters in Silent Hill 2. But the monsters are every bit as ambiguous. The creatures in Silent Hill 2 are not your run-of-the-mill horror game monsters. They have no horns, no tentacles, no supernatural powers. They're monstrous because their shapes suggest deformed human features. その、はい、but sometimes, inspiration strikes when least expected. えっと、知り合いOf course, Ito's references were not merely anecdotal. He also drew inspiration from his favourite artist, the Irish painter Francis Bacon, whose tormented features influenced the visual world of Silent Hill. But the most striking and original creation is indisputably the triangle-headed monster. Ito draws with such ease you might think he got the result he wanted straight away. But what he was looking for was a monster with a hidden face. Like that, it was less human and therefore more disturbing. His first idea was this monster. Then he realised that it was nothing but a human in a mask. So then he took the concept further, giving him a head in the shape of a triangle. He explains it this way. Once the monsters had been created, all they needed were a few bizarre, disturbing monster noises and some choice musical sequences. This was a job for the sound designer, Yamaoka.
僕が自分でサウンドクリエイトする時って特にその映画を見たり何かのサウンドを聞いてインスピレーションっていうのは僕はあまりそういうのはないんですね、あのー、自分で作りたいと思ってサウンド、まあ、ギター持って例えば、まあ、こう弾いて自分で納得自分の中での自分の中で納得するまで時間をかけて作るっていうことですかねあまあそうですねまあきっかけっていうのは特になくて、まあ、テーマソングに関して言えば3日間ぐらいずっと家にこうずっとこう弾いていたっていうのはあります It's a theme that conveys the melancholy of Silent Hill 2 which like the game itself plays with unlikely combinations 毎回毎回違うよ普通はなんか普通のゲームっていうのは普通のゲーム普通の,普通のゲームあのメロディーってサウンドの中でのメロディーっていうのはあの僕特にその重要視っていうのはまあある程度は重要なんですけどその特に重要視っていうのはしてなくて例えばかあの悲,しい悲しいメロディーにあの強いリズム、まあ、今回のテーマソングだと悲しいメロディーに強いリズムっていうのを僕はすごくそれを今回はテーマに自分で作ってたんですけど、まあ、そ,のかあのその聞いた人が悲しくなったり、まあ、楽しくなったりっていうのはというよりも。なんかそのこのサウンドを聞いてその人のメンタル的なところが何かが揺れたりとかっていう何かがこう動くっていうことは僕はあのそれは求めてちょっとそういうふうな作風にはちょっとしています。ヤマオカ also produced all the sound effects, a total of 50 sounds, not counting the nuances. To prevent repetition, he created hundreds of footstep sounds for the characters. They too break with the sound rules applicable to the horror survival game. まああの辺の、うん、バイオとかまあ僕が思うにはそのやっぱりフォーあのよりあの新しいサウンドとかあのまあそれ新しいサウンドがいいっていうわけではないんですけどやっぱりある論理的論理的なフォーマットになった例えばクラシカルな編成とかそういう論理的なフォーマットに乗っかったサウンドだと思うんですね僕はもうそういうのはつまらないと思ってる方なんで常に新しくてあの斬新で何が一番その聞き手が何聞き手に対聞き手がとって何が一番こう何て言うんですかねあの聞いていて。耳から入ってきた聴覚から入ってきたものがどういうふうに刺激になるのかっていうより刺激的なものっていうのを求めてんで、まあ、彼のサウンドは彼のサウンドは別にそれはそれでいいと思うんですけどその論理的なフォーマットとノットサウンドと、まあ、クリエイタークリエイトした新しくもうクリエイトしたサウンドの、まあ、そこが僕は一番違うと思,う思ってます。This being said, however, Yamaoka is too good a musician not to know that silence is sometimes the best sound of all. Um, やっぱりあのまあなんなんですかね、あの無音サウンドが聞こえてること自体がサウンドが鳴ってるってことがあの演出だけじゃなくてサウンドが鳴っていないっていう。まあ、その前後例えば前の前がガーッとああなっててトントントンとは抜けてガッと鳴り出すとかそのなっていないっていうこともその一つのサウンドの演出サウンドの仕事だったりと僕は思います。The audio track of Silent Hill 2, like the graphics and animation, succeeds in creating an oppressive world, mysterious and completely original. But all of these technical exploits should not obscure what makes Silent Hill 2 a work of genius the fear. Silent Hill had another major strength in that it invented a new type of fear. その役が難しいと思うんですけど、あの不安不安で不安でしょうがない。わからないと自分のえっと周りに。
ちょっと先に何,何者かいるかもしれないそ,のそ,そこにいるモンスターがそれでどんなやつなのかもわからないとにかくわからないことっていうのが怖いことだと思いますね。The creative people push their analysis much further. This feeling of psychological terror, specific to Silent Hill 2, was the product of serious brainstorming about the human mind and heart. Psychological horror has to、uh, shake human's heart,、uh, you know, deeply. You know, shaking people's heart deeply means, uh, uh, means, uh, You know, uncover people's core emotion and their core motivation for life. Everybody is、uh, thinking and、uh, concerning about、uh, you know, sex and death every day. And、uh, if we want to、uh, scare or、uh, shake or touch the users or、uh, spectators, Uh, then uh, we have to、uh, think about you know, sex and death deeply. <laughs> to、uh, make like a de- death scene, you know, somebody died, or monsters died, or you know,、uh, if we make that kind of scene,、uh, we try to.、Uh, We try to mix erotic、uh, essence. This is kind of a visual and、uh, you know, core concept. You can see it in these images of dead nurses with their short skirts and low necklines. You can see it in the images of disembodied legs or in this suggestive scene Angela's tragedy. About that. And of course, Maria's ambiguity, icy cold like death. I'm not your Mary. And suddenly sensual. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. To conclude, let's look at one of the most important scenes in Silent Hill 2, and that's the prison scene. Jeez. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? ここに関しては結構僕自身も個人的に思い入れのあるシーンであのシナリオの段階からシナリオのミーティングから結構僕もここはいろいろアイデアを出してたシーンであのまあマリア見た目はマリアなんですけどなんかちょっと不思議なあ
I am. If you want me to be. Never has horror been more poetic. Never has our emotional ambiguity been so skillfully exploited. The creators of Silent Hill are artists, and their game is a work of art. It's as real as this hand touching your face. I'm real. So why not take another look at Silent Hill 2?